every January in Orlando is a gathering of roughly 30,000 PGA professionals, buyers, and kind of everybody associated with the world of golf. It is golf as far as the eye can see. So I thought, in an effort to help us all think warmer thoughts, I take you on a quick fly through of some of the favorite things that I got to observe at the 2024 PGA Merchandise Show. and welcome into a really special product showcase. I'm Bill Hobson, it's great to have you with us. We are at the PGA Show Demo Day, which a few years ago is exactly where we first introduced you to the amazing technology that is the Tempo Walk from Club Car. This robot, Follow Me Caddy, in its first iteration was pretty darn cool, and now we come back to version three, and it is sleeker than ever before. Ted Nicola, product manager here, Take us on a little guided tour of this thing while I, while I just stand back and admire it. <laughs> well, thank you, Bill, and as your, your crew already knows, you were one of the first people to ever get to see this thing in action about five years ago. And so now, once again, you get to be one of the first people to see it, the newest unveiling of the 3.0. Man, it is so, sharp. Thank you. Uh, we, we put a lot of hard work into this and all our learnings for about five years, and you got to see some of the first one, which we're real excited about that product. It's been a fun, fun product to get in people's hands, get them out there walking the course is what you've got to experience. And we've took all those learnings and dumped them into this 3.0. I'm going to go for a walk while you keep That's talking it. about what makes 3.0 so special because it is quite remarkable. There's a little transmitter on my belt with a toggle switch. That toggle switch is what you will turn on and off when you have decided it's time to stop and hit a shot. But otherwise, without touching the toggle switch, it stops. It gives me a comfortable safe space so I don't have to worry about getting run over. What we did is we actually made it more narrow. We added a Bluetooth speaker for the fun component. Uh, we actually, we added some thing, just some little things like the cooler lids. So now you can store all your beverages. On the opposite side, there's a nice storage for your cell phone also with the lid. Uh, we moved, for the course, we moved their charge port for easier charging. It's up higher now. Some little small, small details. We took, and actually that front tire is now a run flat. So we, we, okay. we're trying to minimize some of the maintenance on the car, yeah. speed things up in the cart barn. So that is a run flat tire, never have to worry. Well, let's talk about some of the dimensions because uh, with the first iteration, when I would go to put it in my car, it's pretty heavy. Yes, sir. And it was a little bit wide, so it was a tight fit. You've now narrowed things up and it's lighter. Yeah, we, we put it, we put the 2.1 on a diet. Uh, we took it about down about 20 pounds and there, there's a really a good balance. You can't make it too light because as you said, the terrain, you have to keep yeah. that center gravity because you've got to experience it. It's very stable. People often question hills, terrain. So you, you can't make it too light, but then you can't make it too heavy for that guy that wants to throw it in the back of their car. Well, another aspect I think of this version 3.0 is that it's become, because the technology has continued to evolve, it's become even more affordable for individuals, for consumers, along with clubs. The price is getting to that, that tipping point, and it's not just for the, the elite anymore. We could actually, individuals can own this product. Okay, how long is a single battery charge gonna get me if I'm out walking? On a, on a pretty typical course, even the longer courses, like we're on a Torrey Pines, it can do 36 holes at a, at a very long course like Torrey Pines. It's lithium battery technology, so it's, there, you're not doing any maintenance on the battery. Once again, it's a plug it in at night. You're good in the morning for 36 holes. Lots of storage on here. You've got the thoughtfulness of the Bluetooth component. Yes, We've got uh, an easy plug in now because it used to be a little bit cumbersome to have to find the charging port. Clubs are strapping in with a more traditional cart strap so they're nice and secure. Yeah. And um, we learned that from the last one. Some certain bags didn't fit the last. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, they, they would still hold. This, we've just improved that. We added a double strap now. We've added the, the back, so now the clubs actually fit into a cavity. Yeah. We've, we've learned. <laughs> it's fantastic, man. Version three is as sleek as they come, and uh, I, I can guarantee you they will be popping up all over, not just my part of the country, <laughs> but all over the world. If you're going to take up the challenge of walking when you golf, which you really should be doing if you're physically able, there's no better way to do it than with the Tempo Walk from Club Car. So thanks again for the reintroduction to version three. <laughs>
Bill, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. And our team's very excited to get this product out. Whatever it takes. That's my mantra when it comes to improving putting for myself and for all of you. Dave Swan is living that life with Pure Golf. We, we are living that life. And this looks very interesting to me. Why don't you walk us through what Pure Golf is? Absolutely. So Pure stands for Producing Unmatched Results. I like that. And five years ago, we set out to build the best putting trainer that has ever existed. So we bought every putting trainer on the market and have since since. And they all do pretty much one specific different thing. And we wanted to build one system that does what every putting trainer does, and it only does it better. And we, I, I have challenged people, when they walk by and they look at this, I said, the first guy I'll take out for dinner that says this isn't the best putting trainer they've ever seen. And no one has ever walked by to say, nope, you're wrong. What makes it so good? Well, it, it does literally 50 different things. So the first thing is the eyeline strings. But we have two strings that you can place in different positions. This is accurate to one quarter of a millimeter. So a good mirror is maybe accurate to three quarters of an inch. Hmm. So you can move these strings to where I'm not here to tell people how to putt. So whatever your philosophy is, you can set this machine up to reinforce it. So the eyeline strings can be moved inside the ball, over the ball, outside the ball. So the next thing is, and all of this is patented, we have adjustable truth gates. So these give you immediate feedback without disrupting the path of the ball. So no one has this, no one in the world has this. You can set them from a wide setting to a narrow setting. So from here through, we call these the fat gates because these are actually thicker than the thin gates. That is one quarter of a degree margin of error to get it through the gates without okay. hitting it. So you're going to have to be so down you, the line. You cannot tell this on a laser. You can't tell this on a chalk line. There's nothing that can give you this feedback. So let me just stop you yeah. for a moment. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people watching who have instructors who might have them lining up their eyes and the ball a little differently. You're telling me that this system it doesn't matter. can align to whatever they're what, being taught, Whatever they believe. But then it starts to help you develop it, it, consistency. And it reinforces it to one quarter of a millimeter. So I move my eyes one quarter of a millimeter, you can tell you're off. Wow. Okay, so visual orientation. We got yes. the reinforcement of the gates at, at either end. And the beauty of these gates, I can take a six-year-old and they can start putting and they will tell you if their club face is open or closed because whatever gate they're hitting is the indicator. Oh, it's open. Okay, let's close it to get through the middle, right? So the further we move the ball pad back from the gates, the yep. harder it gets. Yep. So it's for an eight-year-old to a tour player. I put this here, I can make a tour player cry. <laughs> That's why we call this the truth. It gives you the truth. Right? So coming out of here, am I going just this way? Or you can go either way. There's two ball pads, so you could literally putt in both directions. I mean, literally, you can play around with this. You can do whatever you believe you should do, and you can set this up to reinforce it. So whatever you've come to this with, this is just going to help I am you not. I am absolutely not. I have very strong feelings on putting. I am not here to tell anyone how to putt. You're, help, you're here to help us putt better using absolutely. the mechanics we've already and, gotten. And the reason we have hundreds of instructors that have ordered these, I can spend 10 minutes with you. You can take this home and you can teach yourself for the rest of your life because you will know what is happening with your club face. Because what is this all about? It's about square impact. I don't care what you're, if you're doing a whirly woo, right? Yeah. It's square impact, and this tells you square impact like nothing in the world does. So any laser, any anything, there's nothing in the world that can tell you the accuracy is this. I love anything that can help me putt more consistently. Yes. Pure golf, what a fantastic, fi a five-year journey to get five to this years. point. <laughs> and now the world is ready Good to meet you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. The quest for fitness and the ability to play this crazy game even into our older years is what we're after when we come to the Golf Forever booth and look at what you can have in your home, including, in I guess, a virtual sense, Andrea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're in the app. so Exactly. You can work out with me for, for virtually minimal cost bring us into, into your own the, home. Bring us into the world of Golf Forever.
Well, this is a product that I have actually used for years, not only at the pro level, but at the recreational golfer level. So I'll use it as a way to strengthen, to strengthen the core, to warm up the body, and to also use it as a teaching aid of trying to teach movement patterns that sometimes people have a hard time kind of picking up within their lessons. Uh, this is kind of an all-in-one. It's fitness, it's golf, it's body movement flexibility, and there are thousands of iterations of exercises here, right? Obviously, we're going to do just a handful, but oh, yeah. it's, it's endless. It's, it's endless. It's, it's whatever you can dream up, you can do, but with also within the app, it makes it simple because you won't have to think. You can follow along with the exercise. You can follow along with workouts, and it breaks it down for you. Let's do, for me, your favorite three or four kind of get warmed up and get some motion going exercises. Lead me through it. Here we go. Okay. So... I love this one. Facing outward, it's just gonna be a rotation. So we're gonna start to work core. We're gonna get core bracing. We're gonna get thoracic rotation and we're gonna get your legs and your hips starting to get involved. So from here, I come just in an athletic position. I keep it to my side. And as I come around, I post up just a little bit just to get the glutes activated. So rotating through the motion, going straight. Okay, she said make the athletic motion, which is really gonna be a fun one for me. So we're going athletic. We're going to come down a little bit. You want me to go up? Yes. Like this. So you're feeling your obliques having to fire, rotating, stabilizing as you drive it with the leg. So you're getting that ground force production through the movement. Okay, like that. And I like to do this both sides so we're warming up the core in both directions. Okay, so we're going to flip it around. Yep. Got a tight corners here, so we'll come down this way. And you'll feel if your core isn't activated, it's gonna pull you back towards the anchor point. Yeah. So you're forced to keep that core bracing through the entire movement. And the further out I would move, the more tension there is. Yep, the more tension, the further away you can move. And for everybody watching, just so you know, this hooks onto a door. A door, onto a golf cart, anything, a pole, anything that you can you can find a that's, that's a solid mapping. anchor. Yeah. Somebody who's sound asleep, you just hook it around their leg and okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Next. <laughs> All right, let's go into a backswing. So I like underhand grip, overhand grip, getting an athletic grip posture. From there, you're gonna pull it back into rotation. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna help teach the person or who's ever doing it to internally rotate that hip, pushing it back as well as getting that thoracic rotation or shoulder turn in your golf swing. So, you're so are doing... you right-handed golfer? Yeah. Let's start right-handed side, so it's more natural for you. We're gonna okay. do both sides because I like to balance out the body. Let's go underhand grip towards the anchor point. Okay. Okay, and now just pull it back into rotation. So you're gonna pull it this way. What you're gonna feel is you're gonna feel this leg having to stabilize. Okay. Yep, there you go. Pull right back into I rotation. I Yep. So you're feeling you're getting a deeper hip turn yep. as you're using your body to help rotate. Okay. And then I like to do this both sides to get that internal hip rotation kind of working. Okay. So let's go underhand grip, overhand here, underhand towards the anchor point. Let's step away just a little bit. Give yourself some tension. I was trying there to get go. away with that. Yeah. And then pull it back into rotation that way. There you go. Well, I can feel that. Just straight back, straight back. Yep, and then down, straight back. Have so you, this it, is a perfect it, exercise way, for anybody that moves laterally Sorry to interrupt too much. you, but in all your years, have you ever worked with a finer tuned athlete? No. Okay, one more. <laughs> hey, one more. She had to wait for a moment and just kind of <laughs> think through what she was gonna say. Let's go impact area. So underhand grip, overhand grip. Let's get into your posture. And from there, I want you to fire it down. Just past impact here. So we're teaching okay. power, we're teaching speed, and we're teaching correct positioning. By the way, might I recommend when you get ready to do your Golf Forever workout, put on a sweater. Excellent wardrobe planning on my exactly. part. Exactly. Okay, so we're just coming right down through and firing. Yep, fire through. it down. So keep it low so we don't want you to decapitate yourself. 
Fair. Your head and face are way too pretty to do that. There Thank you go. You. Glad you said that. We have that on tape now. Perfect. So I want you to actually come come down, go slow motion, go slow motion, and I want you to stop there. Okay. So we're trying to activate all this side of your body. Okay, go okay. back, down, good. So this is gonna help you how to rotate your hips through the shot faster. You're gonna get it, yep, you're gonna get your shoulders, start moving down through. I'll tell you what. It is you... gonna stop any kind of sliding pattern or early extension. I need a shower. <laughs> We've only been at it for about three minutes. Okay, so you're starting to get the feel for how special, how thoughtful, and how effective Golf Forever can be. And again, the device hooks onto whatever you have that's stationary and solid. You don't need any other bracketing. And then there's a mobile app that has multiple instructors in it, right, including yourself. Multiple and... And you're walking us through just like we did here. Yep, whether you want to work on lower body stability, whether you want to work on thoracic rotation, whether you want to work on just rotational power exercises. We have it all covered. Very cool. Golf forever, my friends. We want you to golf forever, so why not pick up golf forever? We are about to explore two very desirable concepts, at least in my golf game, balance and power. Yeah. And if we so. could add a bonus third in there, maybe a hitting a draw, because for me, that's not my traditional ball flight. Yeah, so yeah. Dan Frost, walk me through, first of all, the power shift board. Um, as you said, it's, it's all about solutions. You know, the collaboration between myself, Dan Frost, and GolfTrainingAids.com is to create products that are solution-based. They really cover the inherent problems, traits, tendencies of golfers. When it comes to creating power, I think we really know that the floor is very important now. There's ground reaction forces. So there's those ups and downs, there's the lateral forces, and then there's the rot rotary forces. Um, those things are really, really complex and sometimes hard to learn. What we've done is created a board that allow you to move away from this idea of a seesaw or a sway, and it really gives you the, this ability to start to work against some spring on the lead side so we can learn how to press the floor. Okay, because I have, I honestly have long been wondering what it means when they say use the ground. Use the ground, right? Here I am, an old guy, and I've, I'm thinking use the ground. If I, if I push like I see the pros do it, I think I'm gonna fall over. Okay. So what's the difference if, between what I'm thinking and what this teaches me? I, I think it's, it's really, really key, you know, understanding the concept, being aware, are those the first points of learning? Yeah. Using the floor really, really comes to life with the power shift board. I'll give you a little demonstration. Yeah. If I pop it down on the ground, what this allows us to do, using the floor really is how we move either laterally, up and down, or from a rotary perspective. All of those motions are created by me somehow pushing against or along the floor. From here, the power shift board allows me to really get a sense of pushing that lead side down early. This is one of the traits that's really inherent in good players. So we've got some springs in the front. We've got some springs down here. Yeah, I haven't broken the springs yet. And they're about 90K, you know, in compression, so you've got something okay. to push against. Yeah. And obviously when you push down, yeah. the floor is going to push back up. Yeah. That's using the ground. So, so you, you want me pushing down on my front foot. So what I'm going to do is, early in transition, yep. I want you to get a sense of making the click, pushing down on the lead side. Yep. And what you've got there, if you keep it fluent, back and through, okay. we're actually starting to get some idea of the pressure at the right time. Interesting. Okay, so, so if you make a backswing, yep. so it's back, press, through. Good. So you start, to get, you start to get a sense of how it okay, works. Okay, so the, the spring helps kind of prompt me. It prompts you, yeah. The really, really neat piece, though, is the fact that if I bring this in really close, what you'll start to see is that there's... Got the sound in there. So we haven't just got the amount of pressure on the lead side, We've actually got the timing. The timing piece is important. So we're good players. We really get a sense of back, click. It happens in transition. Okay. With poor players, it happens much later. Yeah. And that's really like, that's really the training piece. Okay. What I love about the power shift board is that when you come off of it, the proprioception, that lingering feeling, it hangs around. Yeah. So you pop off the board, you can still feel and transfer that skill. 
it's really, really important. Is your vision for this to be on a range? So it's a very practical tool anywhere, anytime. Okay. So it's got a handle. You know, you can imagine bag on your back, you're walking down to the range, you can yeah. take it with you. The nice thing for me, you can use it at home in the garden making practice swings. You can take it anywhere, anytime, really. But for me, when it comes to actually learning, it's skill transfer. So we want to get it so that you can you can use it on a range, but retain the sensation so you can take it on the golf sure. course. It's training yeah. your body, training your mind. Exactly, yeah. Time. Yeah, really learning something. Yeah. All right, from the power shift board, you're now going to help me hit a draw. Okay. This bit's quite interesting. It's an interesting story. So if we pick the if we pick the draw board up, what you'll notice is it's on an incline. This All incline was feet, gonna go yeah. Left, this sailed. incline is inspired by the 13th hole at Augusta. Okay. I was standing there with the president of no Golf Training. It's, it's 14 degree slope, and if you watch the guys from there, they hit 20 degree draws into that green. The ball doesn't fly straight. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to simulate that, create a board that allows people to learn by incline. So the great thing about this, if you think about it, if I just grab a club. Yeah, and let me interrupt you for just yeah. a moment and remind everybody that you've heard for years that a ball above your feet, if you're a righty, is going to go left. If that ball were a similar angle below your feet, you would generally fight it going to the right. So that's what you're building into exactly. the draw board. Exactly. So if we put you into a setup position, you've got a couple of neat things here. One, you've got a slot, which really gives you an understanding of how the club can track into the ball. Yeah. Secondly, because we've started to elevate the ground, what it does is gives you a sense of being a little bit flat, a little bit further away yep. to get the club flat. This is going to encourage, encourage a more rounded action. The combination of those two things, working all around the, the body, and a simple visual cue yep. that gives you that delivery line, you know, straight away, you didn't need much prompting there. Right. It's a little bit of a plug and play product. Yeah. It's very intuitive. No. And the more intuitive we can keep things, the easier the learning. So can I combine the power shift board with the draw board and have both power balance and my draw. So think about it like this. I'm getting greedy now. Think about it like this. This one's the engine. Yeah. This one's the steering. I like that. Yeah, it's quite a nice way to look at it. I like you that. blend the engine and the steering. And you the halfway house is the fuel station. There you go. <laughs> it all comes together perfectly. Well, this is fascinating. So power shift and draw board, both of them consumer ready. And you, you yep. don't have to have a big space available to make use of them. You can no. practice with this in your in your kitchen, in your basement. I, I, I think think it about out. it like this. You, you can practice movements and you can practice shots. You know, you could be at home just getting a sense of the movement with the power shift board, yeah. just making yourself more familiar with it. Yeah. And then you can practice some swings at home with the draw board so you familiarize yourself so that when you do get to the practice ground, mm -hmm. you know, it feels comfortable. You feel ready to start to hit some shots. So you are suggesting practice would help in this game. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe news But you know what? Quality practice with good feedback is key. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Dan, thank you for the overview. Appreciate it. Fascinating. Pleasure. Thank you for Power your time. Power shift board, draw board. If you'll pardon the pun, we are going to now step into the world of footwear with our friends at FootJoy, the official footwear for Michigan Golf Live and the Four Golfers Network. And Dan Bonono is the product manager for this line. And I love stepping into this space every year because of the renewal of innovation, style, fashion, and function that FootJoy always brings to the table. So 2024, what do you have? What's new? And what are we going to start seeing in pro shops around the country? We have some great stuff coming in 2024, um, starting with our new addition to ProSLX. So ProSL, uh, ProSL franchise has been great for FootJoy. Um, the last couple of years, we've been evolving it, doing evolutions, um, some new materials, new uppers. This season, we're going for the full revolution, so a complete redesign of our ProSL franchise with ProSLX. And you spoke about the innovation, that's really where this is coming to life. So this season, complete new redesign, uh, biggest redesign starting on the bottom here with our Powertrax outsole. So we have a really nice TPU spikeless uh, traction around the perimeter and this nice 3D X-Wing chassis system. So now what this chassis system is designed to do is to work with the golfer's swing. So when that foot is twisting and torquing during your golf swings, it actually drives these lugs in the perimeter down to give you that additional grab of grass that you need during your golf swing. You know, you're coming very, very close with this particular one to some maize and blue colors that are near and dear to my heart. Pretty good this team is, this year. <laughs> this is beautiful, beautiful footwear, along with the innovation that you're describing, yep. right? There's actually two options for this that yeah. I would love to go over. So yeah. speaking of innovation, what's more innovative than carbon fiber? So we did add a 
there's a secondary option for Pro SLX Carbon. So again, same story here, but this is for more of the elite level golfers. So elite level golfers typically have a faster swing speed, so faster swing speed equals more torque, more torsion, more of a need for a stable, sturdy platform underneath. And that's where this carbon fiber piece comes into play. And so you're, you're really crafting the shoe to the skill level of the golfer. It's not just a generic shoe coming off of an assembly line that one size or one model fits all. Correct. We're very fortunate that we're one of the few brands that's uh, golf footwear only. So everything we design, every material we choose is 100% dedicated to the golfer. So we really pride ourselves in being able to offer the consumer, no matter price point, no matter what style, spike, spike list, that we have the shoe that that golf consumer is looking for. Okay, what's next? Let's go over to our classics. So this is an elevated platform from our, our Premier Field model. So Premier Fields, one of our top selling models, both on tour and uh, for the consumer. Really just adding an elevated fashion look. So we're adding this leather randing here. Um, not only gives you that color pop, but also a little bit more support, a little more stability for the golfer to keep them over that midsole tooling. Uh, we'll be uh, launching a navy and a white here. Um, and really just offering that discerning consumer just that much more of an elevation off the fields and the blue chip construction that the consumer loves. That is, I mean, you talk about classic in the name, that is a throwback look. Yeah, that's what we're going for. We know that a certain cons consumer right now is very invested in that old look, that classic timeless feel and style, and that's what we want to cater to for this consumer. Okay, now I'd like to have you for kind of our final little chapter of this conversation, Take us into some shoes that I can wear on and off the golf course. Sure. So here's our Flex and Flex XP line. So again, really great golf specific technology, but a rubber outsole. So that really drives the versatility that you need on course and off course. That versatility will still give you the, uh, the shape and design you need for golf function, but you'll be able to wear this on and off the course. So these are two great options for on and off course versatility. Um, and then some people do wear our Fuel, which is, this is actually an update. So Fuel, spikeless traction, you can still wear off course. Um, some really nice elevated details here with the paint splatter on the midsole and a really nice textured addition here in the heel to really drive that excitement and look of the shoe. I'll tell you what, when I pull a, a pair out of the box and I can wear them instantly and they felt like they've been broken in yep. for a couple of months, I kind of think of the, of the flex line. I mean, this is not only beautiful, but so comfortable straight out of the box. Yeah, so you really hit the two things we're looking for, comfort and style. That's what most consumers are looking for, so we really look to attack that with our flex line here. So you have a really nice heel detail here with the really nice material, but then you have that comfort of that breathable mesh in the, in the forefoot. I don't, I don't know how many different models there are in the lineup. Every time I go to the website, it seems like there's a hundred more. Yep. Is there a bestseller out of the entire FootJoy line? Yeah, so right now the bestseller is probably our Traditions line. So basing off that classic feel and style that we have, we actually do have a new, this is a new introduction for this year. So again, Sweet. looking at that field uh, styling here, um, just taking down at a more price conscious level, um, very br uh, lightweight, very breathe, uh, not breathable, very soft and cushioned. Um, but this, the Traditions line, Either the saddle or the blue construction are definitely our top sellers, um, just based on the comfort and wearability that it provides. Well, Dan, we could walk around and talk about this for basically the rest of the show, the rest of the day. Yep. Thank you for a little teaser, and you can find all of it online at footjoy.com. Order there or go to your local pro shop. Make sure you're fitted properly. Absolutely. Uh, we want these to last you for a very long time, and they are, without a doubt, the best in the game today. That's why Footjoy is on the feet of pretty much every pro you see and uh, that's why they're on my feet as well. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We have been blessed over the last few years to partner with Donald Ross Sportswear. Without them, I'd be left to dress myself and nobody wants to see that. So Adam Bullen, it's good to meet you in person for the first time. Thank you, pleasure. Uh, how do you describe the brand, its ethos? Oh my goodness. Uh, so this brand, I mean, we're sort of 15th year in business. Um, it was really founded, uh, of course, by Rob Stein. Um, Chicago apparel guy, and he really was really knowledgeable on the game of golf, of course. Um, he had some experience working with some other brands um, like Jack Nicklaus and Bobby Jones, really pretty historic big name brands. Mm. Um, it, it actually came about as um, when synthetics were kind of coming back into play. Um, some other companies were doing some nice advertising about new fibers that were performance based. And you know, Rob, he saw it, he grabbed onto it and said, listen, this is really something special. 
was lightweight, it was breathable, it was comfortable, it was easy care. And he said, I, if I put my ethos on this and my menswear background and make something special that's performance um, that I think customers would really grab onto. I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody who I do not know mm -hmm. come up to me and grab the shirt and say, that feels incredible. And yeah. then, if we really want to get awkward, yeah. they'll reach down and they'll grab the Pants. leg of my slacks yeah. and they'll say, those, those look like they don't yeah. even, they're not even there. And I'm like, that's why these yeah. are so comfortable. So what is this performance wear world? It is um, ever evolving. Um, it is. We actually use a special yarn. So if you walk around this PGA show and you feel other people's stuff, you'll notice that our shirt feels differently. And our consumers feel that too. Um, when they put our shirt on for the first time, they're like, whoa, something is completely different here. So we've actually used a proprietary yarn uh, since day one. Um, it's a very high-end yarn. Um, it has wonderful properties as performance-wise, moisture wicking, color fastness for us is the garmentos. So our garments look good over time. So they're high value to the, of course, the people that purchase this product. Um, you know, it's, it's got to feel good and it's got to look good. That's really what we're all about. Yeah. Um, that's why we, every season we have new colors and patterns and things like that. But the yarn is really the, the basis of this complete product. Um, well, the look is so sharp. Yep. The feel is kind of hard to describe on video, but it's wonderful. So as you can kind of move into this 2024 season, mm -hmm. what, what are you looking at from a Oh, kind of a health of the game from oh the god. industry standpoint. Oh my god, it's like, so obviously we've experienced the boom and it hasn't really slowed down. Um, the health of all these private clubs, the daily fees, I mean the golfer consumer has gotten so much, uh, the demographic has gotten so much wider because new people have come into the game, whether it's men, women, children, um, families are spending more time at the club. Um, so the state of our business is extremely healthy um, because there's so many more new customers in in and around the game, yeah. yeah. So inside the world of Donald Ross, yep. there are two primary lines. There's classic and sport. Yes. Could you give us kind of an elevator version of sure. the difference between the two? Sure. Players? So um, the sport line, I'll start there. Um, it's, it's, it's our newest addition to the classic line. Um, so 2019, the fall of 2019 PGA show, was really the big unveil of the sport line. So that we saw a need and there was a shift in the marketplace um, of how people were choosing to wear their apparel. Uh, whether it was off course or on course. And then we saw a little bit of an influence from the tour, as per usual. Um, these guys are getting more fit. They want their garments to look good on their fit bodies. Um, hence, you know, the need to introduce a second fit. Um, our classic fit has served us extremely well, still does today. Uh, the sport fit um, accounts for roughly 60% of our business today. Um, so from 2019, to now, it's a pretty short period of time yeah. to take over that much of our business. And we're growing every single year. So it's it's a very healthy uh, balance between the sport fit, which is for that tailored fit customer. Sure. Um, and then of course our classic fit that I actually prefer um, is a little more generous um, in the body, but it's still very uh, tailored in the collars and plackets. So for those of you keeping track at yep. home, if you're ordering from Donald Ross Sportswear and you're ordering classic, you're going to want to go down a size. Like I wear a large in the classic, mm -hmm. but an XL in the sport. Yes. And that's not because I'm that abnormal. Right. No. That's how it's put together. No, 100. percent That's it's it's by design for sure. Um, we actually see it um, on our e-commerce. So the end user consumer that has purchased our brand um, has said figured out that hey, I'm a medium and classic fit, and I go up a size to sport. Yeah. They achieved a very similar fit. You know, the difference is really on you can see it in your sleeve length, a little shorter sleeve on sport. Yeah. And then classic, just a little more traditional, down closer to your elbow, for sure. Well, we couldn't be more thankful for the partnership. Thanks for dressing us. That's an awkward well, thing to yeah. say to another guy, but thank you for dressing me. <laughs> well, you look good in it. I appreciate it so much. Thanks thank you so much. Appreciate it.